Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to show y'all a Dollar Tree haul. I picked up a lot of exciting new things. And uh, as you see, I changed up my background a little bit. I want it to be nice and cozy. And so I have uh, my bed there in the background uh, with my little pillows. Let me scoot to the side so you can see there. And uh, so I just thought I would just go ahead and uh, make it a little bit more cozy today. And you know, you could grab yourself a, a cup of coffee or some tea or something and uh, enjoy this haul. So uh, I do need to go back to Dollar Tree again and I, I'll mention the reason why. I did pick up uh, one container for someone that I'm making up a gift basket for. And after I got home, I realized that, uh, that I needed a couple more gift baskets for a few other people. So I'm uh, talking about along those lines, let me show you what I did pick up. And then if I do find a lot more things uh, when I do my next shopping trip there, then um, I may end up doing another haul. All right, so I picked up this and the person that I am making a gift basket for is a male. And uh, I think this is a nice size uh, little gift basket or a little container to use. And along with that, let me see if I can find right off what I'm going to use in there. Okay, so here's the bag. And I was gonna give you an idea of how I was going to place all this in here. So I found this party mix. And it has what looks to be about like some pretzels and Doritos and just different little things, uh, like a little snack mix. So I was gonna put that in there along with some of these Crisp and Thins by uh, Ritz. And that's just the original flavor. And then I also found these Pretzel Crisp as well. So I will be using those. Those are some of the items. If I find something else along the way, I'll also mention that as well. But this is going to be, like I said, for, um, well, it's gonna be for my daughter's fiance. And I thought that if I made him up a little snack basket, he could grab whatever he wanted to like this or something and take it with him to work and then he could use it as a snack. Uh, with the job that he's in, uh, he is, a mechanic and he works on uh, motorcycles and so uh, you know a lot of times my daughter has said that he hasn't had a chance to really go and have lunch so uh, this would be something where he could just you know grab it and snack on so I have that, put that down there and then I also picked up another bag of, of these as well because I am going to be using this for uh, I call it my Christmas goodies. I always make um, all kinds of little uh, little things that uh, my family like to eat. Uh, maybe I can share that on my channel. Uh, I make some stuff called reindeer chow. I make cookies, just different little Christmas goodies. So I did uh, pick that up as well. Along with, I found this there, and I do have a Keurig. I thought that uh, this was a neat little find, and this would be great in a gift basket. This is French vanilla flavored, and it's the little coffee pods. So I thought that was a nice little find, and I'll put that with my uh, little coffee pods that I have. And then I also found the Intamin's hot chocolate as well. So I just, I thought those were pretty neat. And uh, like I said, I'll put it with uh, my finds. I actually can't see this. All right, we'll come back to that one. Nothing to see here. All right, so let me go ahead and grab out my next things here. I thought this was very interesting and um, I wanna try this out. It's called a brownie cookie bar mix. So uh, I thought that maybe during this uh, Christmas break that my daughter is off that I'd make these and uh, this would be a nice little treat to have as well. I also picked up these, uh, what are they calling these? Garden vegetable crackers. 
and I went ahead with three boxes. I really like these a lot. Um, I like the flavor of these, so I, I'm going to keep one for myself, but I do have two other boxes here as well, and uh, I'm going to be making up, and I'll show you here in a minute, but I'm going to be making up little soup bowls, and I was gonna take so much of these and put them in a bag, and then put some nice little ribbon around it. And what I was going to do is make up my little soup bowls and have my crackers with it. And then I also was going to include, find some soup. So let me set these to the side. And this was the soup that I found. I thought these were such cute packaging. So I found uh, it's, it does. It is the chicken noodle soup, and isn't that just so precious? With that, that one has the penguin, and then this one has the snowman. So I thought this would be so adorable. I'm gonna set these to the side, and then I'll show you what uh, the soup bowls were that I picked up as well. And I think that that will be a nice little gift there for uh, the people that I will be making those up for. All right, so then the next items that I have, um, I picked up some of this, and it is the, I was making sure my daughter wasn't around because it's going to go in her stocking. So uh, this is the Nutella, and I did uh, pick up a couple of those. All right, so still along the, lines of food uh, i needed some of this swiss miss hot chocolate packages because i will be making some other additional gifts as well and i'm going to be making some chocolate spoons and i will be crushing up some different toppings and put it on there so it will harden and i'm going to be giving that as a gift with some marshmallows now i can show that diy as well when i get ready to make those All right, so here's some other stocking stuffer things that I chose. I picked up a package of Dum Dums, some Pixie Sticks, some Fun Dip. I like to use this bubble gum and I put it in a little bubble gum machine that I have. So I picked up two packages of those. And then I thought this was interesting. My daughter loves these made by Brookstone. And it is the dark chocolate pomegranate and it says fruity bite size bites, no bliss. Yes, fruity bite size bliss. So I thought that was interesting because like I said, I know she likes the Brookstone chocolates in this. So I thought I'd get this little bag and let her try it and see what she thinks of these. And then here are a few other little things that I found. I found some cinnamon sugar. So I thought that that would be good when decorating cookies because we do make uh, different cookies, homemade sugar cookies. And then I also found the rainbow sprinkles as well. So I thought those were nice little finds. Here are some other things that I found. In my kitchen, I do have a gingerbread theme going on. It's, a, it's like a Mrs. Claus baking gingerbread, uh, kind of, you know, peppermint, that sort of thing theme. So I found this little gift box. I thought it was so stinking cute. It says, the joy of Christmas is family. And I just thought this would be so cute to sit up somewhere in my kitchen. So I wanted to go ahead and grab that. I also picked up me some of these mini carnival pops. Um, I had bought these at, to use in my kitchen as decor. My daughter loved these. So I grabbed her a bag so that I could, uh, but she did eat a few of mine already. So I picked up those for her. As well as I found this scratch art pad. And I thought this was pretty neat. I thought that she might would like that to use that. 
I also found this little decor piece. It's like a little calendar and it says blessed on it. It has a sunflower. I love sunflowers. It's my favorite flower. And I thought this would be, be real pretty to set up either in spring, summer, or fall, somewhere in that time frame. So I went ahead and grabbed this as well. And I thought I would try a DIY with these. I have an idea for them. I've seen the DIY on Facebook and I think it's so precious. So, oh, excuse me. So it's the foam dice. And I thought that these would be real cute as a DIY. So hopefully if they turn out well, you'll see the DIY. I thought these were neat little finds and they have four different ones. I chose two of the four because I just like the way that they look the best, but they are these little canvas tote bags. And this says, life is my favorite adventure. And I just think it's just a nice little bag. Um, does have the handles to it. Looks like they're on down in there, but it does have the little handles to it. And uh, I thought this would be just a cute little bag, you know, to use, you know, whenever. So I found that one there. And then this one is my favorite, oh my gosh. I can see using this when I decorate for my farmer's market. And I did do a farmer's market theme, I guess it was like late summer, right before the fall. And I just loved it, I thought it was so much fun. So I'll probably be doing that again next year. And uh, if you haven't seen that video uh, yet, it is on my YouTube channel. So you can go and check that out as well and see how I decorated. But I thought that this would be real cute to sit up somewhere, like hang from somewhere. So I, I was like, oh my gosh, I've got to have that little bag. I just love it. So I found that. And then also I picked up one of these little baby blankets. Now I have another one like this. Oh, it's down over here. I have another one of these in the other pattern. It's uh, about like the buffalo check type pattern. I'm not sure what you call that, but I did find this one in the striped. And I like to use these to hang from a ladder or to lay over in a basket. I just think that these are real nice little finds and not necessarily to use them as a baby blanket. So I did grab that. I had not seen the striped before. I also grabbed these little pretzel socks. Um, last time when my daughter and her fiance were visiting, um, he had a pair of socks on. I think they were like polka dots. And um, they were talking about his socks and how uh, he liked different, different pattern socks. So when I saw the pretzels, I was like, yes, I'm grabbing these. <laughs> so I got those. And then I also picked up these that I will be using for my family as well. And it's the Snugadoo socks. So I grabbed it in the, uh, I guess you call it mint green uh, stripe there. There's another stripe with the gray and the white. And then more of like this, ooh, maybe like a neon orange color. So I grabbed those. And then also I had already hauled uh, some black and white socks for my daughter for Christmas. That's what she, one of the things that she said that she wanted. She wanted a pair of black socks. And so I, the packs that I picked up, it was a pair of white and black. So when I was there this time, I found all black. So I probably will still give her those other packs as well, or I may keep them for myself. I'm not sure, but I will be giving her these black pairs. So I thought that was a nice little find. All right, and also I had hauled a bunch of scrunchies before. And I mentioned in that video that uh, my youngest daughter wanted to go ahead and take hers, uh, but that I did put my oldest daughters to the side, but I found some more. So I found this little pack here, and I've heard great, great things about the Dollar Tree scrunchies. So I grabbed two of those for each of them. 
And then I grabbed this one here as well. And they're a nice velvet material. I really like these. So I grabbed, again, two of those. And then here is another set as well. And then two of those. Here are some more food items that I thought that they were just like great little finds. At first, I was just going, going to get them for myself. But the more that I thought about it, my daughter likes to cook things. Like she's out on her own now, living with her fiance, and she makes, you know, different meals and things like that. And so as I was looking at these, I said, oh, maybe she might like these as well. So I got double. So the first thing that I found was this classic cheesecake mix. I had never seen that uh, there before. I thought it was very interesting. It does give you instructions on the back. So each of these do. So like I said, this is the cheesecake. And let's see, let's see if I can find the other one. So I grabbed two boxes of those. And then I also found the funnel cake. And again, it does give you the directions on the box, on, on the back of the box. So I thought this was uh, another interesting find. And they were all right there together over in the um, section that's got all the baking stuff. And this brand is enticingly easy. So I thought it was great little finds. I was like, what? All right, and then I also found the cheesy garlic bacon mix. So I grabbed, of course, two of those. And they do have the directions on the back. So I thought those were awesome finds. I also picked up this Mug Treats Hot Fudge Brownie. And it says uh, mix with fudge topping. So I thought this would be a neat little thing to uh, whip up and have as a little dessert for myself. <laughs> and then this one is the Rainbow Chip Cake. I'm keeping these for myself. All right, so then I also picked up a bag of the, they're calling it Energy Blend Nuts. It has honey roasted peanuts, honey roasted sesame sticks, almonds, walnuts, and pecans. And that was another thing that I was going to put down in here as well in this little basket. And I had also picked him up a, a thing of, uh, what was it? Uh, honey roasted peanuts. So I think all this will go all real nicely down in there together. These were some more things that I've been looking for and I haven't been able to find. And it is the little shelf, little, what are they calling these? They're calling these cabinet shelves. And I do have quite a bit of mugs. So I bought three of these because I am going to see about reorganizing my mugs. And uh, I do like to ha have these on hand for projects if I need it or uh, for any other little uses. So I did pick up three of those. And then I think it was, it was, I believe this was in the last Dollar Tree haul. I had picked up some of these doll treats. Now, um, when my daughter's dog was here during Thanksgiving, uh, well, they came, let's see, the day before Thanksgiving. Yes, they stayed with me the, the night before Thanksgiving, and then they left uh, on Thanksgiving. So, uh, while they were here, um, I asked did, uh, my little grand dog, she's a little Yorkie, I asked her, I said, um, does she like treats? And she said, yeah, she likes treats. So I grabbed out one. She didn't eat one right away. She was a little bit territorial. When my dogs came around, you know, she was just like, mm, no, you can't eat my treat. <laughs> yeah. So, and I picked up uh, two more of these uh, for my own dogs. Uh, my, I have a miniature schnauzer and a lab. And my lab will eat anything. She doesn't care. Uh, my miniature sounds are, she's a little bit more picky, so I'm not sure if she'll eat these, which is fine. But um, I just think they're so stinking cute. Um, I mentioned before that they look like little pretzel hearts. Can, yeah, see, they're like so cute. <laughs> and then this one was little round circles. 
And then when I was at a, this location this time, I go to about four or five different stores. As a matter of fact, I'm going to a completely different store tomorrow. And so uh, I might find totally different things. So that's why I'm saying I may just do another haul. But I found these and I thought, oh, how cute were these two? <laughs> They're the little baby doggy bones. So, uh, I mean, they're way small from my lab, but it's okay. I mean, my mid schnauzer can eat them or, you know, it doesn't matter. But uh, I did pick up two boxes of those, one for my dogs and then one for hers. So, I thought those were cute little finds for them. And uh, I've never heard this brand before. Um, Dog Treats Poppers. I don't know, but... I don't know if it's something new to Dollar Tree and something they're carrying or what. I found this hand soap and I thought this was interesting. It's made by Clorox and it's Clorox Fraganza, Fraganzia, Clorox Fraganzia. And this one is lavender with eucalyptus. And it is a hand soap refill. So let me see. It has a very fresh smell. Um, yes, very, it's very fresh. So I like that. The next one is pumpkin spice. And this would have been nice to have had this past fall, but I hold on to my soaps, y'all. And um, I, I'll hold on to them for a while. Uh, a hint to pumpkin spice. I mean, it's not overly powerful. So if you're okay with that, I would say go ahead and pick you know, some of that up as well. And then the last one that I picked up was the apple cinnamon. Let me smell this one here. Okay, it smells like cinnamon. So I think between the apple cinnamon and the uh, pumpkin spice, these would be nice in the fall. I'm going to hold on to them. Uh, they're going to stay closed. They're up in the, underneath my cabinet, under the sink. Uh, so there's not any exposure or anything, so I think they'll be perfectly fine. And then, so then the lavender and the eucalyptus, I think I will hold on to that for the uh, springtime. I think that'll be a nice little scent to use then. So let me mention this first and then we'll get into the makeup because I have a lot of good makeup. All right, so I picked up 10 bags of these, y'all. I can't tell you how much I love these and that's just my opinion. Uh, I don't know if anyone else would feel the same way as me, but this is the Shirt Relief Sore Muscle and Back Soak Epsom Salt and it is eucalyptus scented and I absolutely love this. I love the smell of the eucalyptus. When I put it in my bath, it smells very nice. And uh, when I feel like that I just need a real hot bath and need to soak my muscles, this does wonders. Like, I just can't tell you how much I love this stuff. So, since I like this so much, I picked up 10 bags. <laughs> I know, but I'm going to be giving some of these away. So, um, I'm going to be giving at least one or two bags to my mother, uh, my best friend. She likes to soak in baths. Uh, who else is it? My daughter, my oldest daughter. And then I'll, I'll keep a few, of course, for myself and my youngest, you know. But um, I love these. I can't say how, how, how great they are enough. They're really good. So... I have, like I said, my 10 bags. Okay, so that was all in, that was in those bags. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and move on to makeup. And then I also have some other things down here in a box as well. So I feel like I hit the jackpot. Now, when I went back and looked, I did realize that this makeup was discontinued. I'm okay with that. Um, it's not no big deal to me, but I did pick up a lot of doubles. Um, I do want to uh, mention that my oldest daughter is a professional makeup artist, 
and uh, she uses all types of makeup. She uses, you know, drugstore, high end, and just everything. So uh, this, all this is wet and wild, and she's perfectly fine with that. She said that some of this uh, drugstore makeup is just as good as the high end. So um, when I found these, I was like, oh yes, I'm gonna grab these. So I figured that if she doesn't want to use any of these, she could use it on, on her clients. So I picked up the pearlescent pink blush. And of course I picked up two of those. When I have doubles of these, that means that I'm, I'm keeping one for myself. All right, so I also found the, it's called, oh, apricot in the middle. And it's that real pretty apricot color. So two of those. And then I found Keep it peachy. I only found one of those, so that's gonna be, I'm, I'm keeping this one for myself. And I found this, which there was um, a bunch of these, but I didn't know how she would feel about this pressed powder, so I just grabbed one for myself, and it's in Fair and Light, and it's the coverall. So it was just a container that was up by the front of the store. Um, you know those, um, how do I explain it? It's like a one whole little shelving, a whole shelving unit piece. And uh, had all kinds of different things on it. Well, there was a little box and it had all this wet and wild in it. And I was like, I was like, I'm looking. <laughs> no, no, I didn't do like that. But I, I was hovering over the box though. <laughs> all right, so I found some foundation. And uh, y'all, I don't have my glasses, so I can't even tell you the numbers, but I found uh, different shades here. And I picked up, let's see, four of these. So one I'm going to keep for myself that I knew what the color was close enough to my skin tone. And then the other three I will give to my daughter. I think this one's close enough to mine. Uh, I think it is, or maybe it's this one. I can't remember, one of the two. And then I have a couple of extras. And like I said, with her being a makeup artist, uh, this one's probably too dark for her because she's fair skinned like me, but she can use these for clients. So I was like, oh yes. So I uh, grabbed those for her. And then I found this one as well that says, um, what does it say here? Shade Adjusting Foundation and Primer. So it looks like that there. So uh, I thought she could use that as well. And then let's see, I found a bunch of lip and eye products. So let me grab my glasses and we'll see what these colors look like. And then I probably can go back on the foundation as well. So let me take a, let me grab my glasses. It seems like once you get over it, over in your forties <laughs> and older, your vision starts changing. Okay. So this is the Velvet Matte Lip Color and it is in the shade Berry Tails. So I thought that that was a real pretty color. Um, I think that'll look good on both of us. So I grabbed that. And then I was trying to make sure these match up properly. All right, and this one is um, Hickory Smoked. I'm sorry, that was Hickory Smoked, the last one. And then this one is Looking for Truffle. <laughs> That's cute. All right, so that's what that is. So if you find these and you're okay with them being discontinued, I mean, it, I think they're great finds because when I went and looked them back up, they were running between about two to three dollars. So at the Dollar Tree for a dollar, you're still saving a couple of dollars. Okay, so let me go back to these that I did find and the foundation. All right, so this number is 815. I know I'm gonna keep this one for myself. And this one is also 815, so that's two of the same. This shade is 818. So I don't know if any of y'all use these or not, or did use them before. 
And then this one says soft ivory on it. So those are the different shades with that. Uh, let's see, did this one have anything on it? Light and pale. So, all right, let me also show you. I also grabbed these as well. And these are the lip wands. Do they give a color? Mm, yes, it is. Brandy wine. <laughs> uh, I'm laughing for a certain reason. All right, so that is brandy wine um, right there. And let's see, these are eye wines. Java Champagne is what these are. And then, let's see, these are Black Slate, and they are also I wine. So I thought these would be interesting little finds. Um, when uh, I was digging through, there was a bunch more other stuff in there, but I just chose the things that I liked. So be on the lookout for those, because you might find them in your stores um, I don't know if maybe they're just trying to get rid of what's in maybe like certain stores and they're taking, sending them to Dollar Tree or what. But I was so excited as I was uh, over there digging through the box. <laughs> so, all right. So let me also mention to you, I'm going to look for some more Christmas boxes as well. But I did find these and I love these. They're so cute. Uh, this is with Santa, and he's with his uh, train. Let's see. Let's open these up. Let's go ahead. Okay, so this one is Santa with a train. Isn't that so pretty? Oh, my goodness. And I love these little size boxes right here, too, because they... Uh, they can be used for a lot of small things. Here's with Santa and the snowman. Gosh, I love these. I should have probably gotten a second set. And then the third one in this one is uh, Santa on his sleigh waving. I just love these. I just think they're so nice. So I did grab those. And then I also found the reindeer north pole licensed aviation teaching reindeer to fly let me open these as well and there's two in this one so i have oops so i have this one here Isn't that cute and then i have farm fresh christmas trees pine spruce fir and cedar so I thought those were nice finds and I want to look for other boxes as well. I also found these little decor pieces. There was four in the set. There was also a welcome and laundry, but I didn't have any need for the, for either one of those. So I chose blessed. I like the way that this looks. I think this would be real cute sitting up like in my bookcase. And then I chose uh, coffee. Uh, for winter time, I do have a few little coffee decor pieces. So I'll probably use this during my winter decor somewhere. Also, my oldest said that she would like to have a nightlight in her bathroom. And she said, Mom, if you want to pick me up a nightlight, you can. So I found one at Dollar Tree. So I grabbed me that for her. And then I found these decor pieces. And I thought, oh my gosh, they these are precious. They did come in other styles as well. But these are the two that I chose. And I'll tell you what they did have. I chose the one here that's pink. And it says Mason on it. And... I don't know what they're, they're, it's just saying decor. I'm going to use this as a spoon rest. Um, when I thought of the pink, I thought, hmm, Valentine's Day. I like the color, it'd be pretty on my uh, stovetop. 
So I will be holding on to that for there. And then this is so cute to me. It says bakery fresh bread. Oh my gosh, isn't that just so cute? So I thought that would be cute sitting out certain times of the year, maybe like my farmer's market or something like that. They also had uh, tomato soup, yogurt, and milk. But I wasn't really crazy about those, so I didn't pick those up. All right, so I also found, I also found three candles and I thought these were so pretty. Uh, let's see. I don't think that there is a scent on here. Um, I'll try to see if I can describe it, but this one is white. Now there is a label here, but you can turn it around. It's got the little fuzzy pom-pom on the top. I just think these are real chic looking. This is fruity, definitely fruity. So uh, if you see these, smell these and see what you think. I just think they're so pretty. All right, so this one is red. Cinnamon, yep, that's cinnamon. And uh, I like these little small candles like this in my guest bathroom. It's a small space and they burn really nicely in there. And then this one is the blue. Mm, more fresh scented. So, uh, I thought those were nice little finds. I did pick up, um, as well, that I was mentioning about the soup bowls. So, I picked up two of these in the black, and I picked up two in the red. And... I decided that I have a Cricut, and y'all, I have the old Cricut. I mean, I'm talking about the one that used to use the cartridges. I think it was the Cricut Expression, the old, old one. But I have a bunch of cartridges. I haven't upgraded yet. I'm a little bit intimidated with the whole thing with the software, so I uh, I just haven't upgraded yet. I'm still using my old one, and I, I don't use it enough, I don't think, to really account for it. I don't know. Maybe I should. But anyways, regardless, I thought with my Cricut that I would put some words on here. Um, maybe like yours, mine, or soup, or something like that. And so I can choose uh, one of my cartridges, and I can print off a word, and um, I think this will be perfect for what I'm going to be doing with this. So what I was thinking was, is that I have these soup bowls, and like I said, I picked up these little pouches and they do fit nicely down in there so there is a gift idea right there just pick up these little soup pouches let's see if i can put it in there there we go and then put your uh your soup down in there and then i'm going to see if i can also maybe i can i'll see why not i can also maybe wedge the uh crackers in there somehow some way i don't i'll figure it out but I thought with the crackers and the soup and the bowls, that's just a nice little gift, you know. So, uh, there's a gift idea there as well. So, uh, that is it for my haul. Um, I have my doll that she's walking around, so I think she may have to go outside. But I hope that you enjoyed the haul. I know it was a long one. I had a lot of stuff, y'all. But it was a lot of great finds. And um, I am going to be using part of this also for um, gifts for my family members. So, um, if you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. That helps my channel. Along with, if you haven't subscribed and you're, if you haven't subscribed and you're interested, please hit that subscribe button as well. Along with that notification bell, so that you don't miss an upload. And uh, I just want to say thanks for watching. Bye.